Hey guys, how's it going? I just want to make sure that everything's working real quick before I get started. Um, let's see. Video only mode. I don't see anyone on yet, so I'm just going to keep messing around with this until I see some people come on. want to make sure I can see your comments but nobody's on to comment yet so I'm gonna wait a second until someone comes on to comment <laughs> okay someone's on oh hey Renee I see you're on will you comment so I can see if I can see comments Oh, hey, okay, hey girl, I see you. Okay, good, I'm glad you said hey girl because I wanted everyone to say hey girl on this. <laughs> okay, cool. Because I've been, like, sometimes when I put my live video on, for some reason I can't see, um, I can't see the comments. So, hey Brittany, how's it going? I'm glad you're on. Oh, I feel like we're kind of hanging out, but we're not. So, if you guys are on, say hi. Um, if I don't know you, tell me where you're from. Tell me um, just anything, what you do, if you have a business, if you create, if you like to craft, if you do anything like that. I just like to meet you and hear from you guys. Oh, hey, Stephanie. How's it going? Um, that's Stephanie with Willow Design and Accessories. If y'all aren't following her page, go ahead and follow her page. She is awesome. Um, if you guys are on, just say hi. I know I said 8 o'clock. I think it's just about 8 o'clock, so I'm going to go ahead and just get started anyways for those of you that are on. Um, so I've been, obviously everybody is in like the, oh thanks Stephanie, thanks for commenting on my living room. I don't have a workshop or anything, so I do all my stuff, all my crafting and stuff in my dining room, in my house, in my garage, all that stuff. So you guys always get to have a fun peek of my house and everywhere that I always am working. So um, I stay home and drive Tom nuts. <laughs> okay, yeah, we're all driving our husbands nuts right now with all the fall stuff going on. I was at Hobby Lobby yesterday. I was at Home Goods today. I've been um, all around town shopping for clients, and I have just been in like it's fall crazy already although it was like 90 degrees here today so I was wearing shorts and a tank top and sweating I was working in the garage earlier and it was hot and sticky and I was like I'm doing all this fall decor but it does not feel fallish at all outside yet but um, I'm just rolling with it because I've been seeing so many good um, crafts on Facebook lives I've been seeing lots of good stuff on Pinterest um, lots of new stuff that I haven't seen before so that's always fun to see like kind of the new stuff and I think one of the new things I know that um, like succulent pumpkins have been in for the last couple years but I've been seeing a lot more like floral arrangement type pumpkins and I think it's because that whole botanical um, that whole botanical thing is very in style right now. Lots of botanicals, of uh, like vintage style botanicals, all that kind of stuff is very in right now. So I think that they're just trying to intermix all that in with all the pumpkins. So um, like I said, if you're on, please say hi. Tell me where you're from. If I've never met you, um, give some likes, give some hearts, because like I said, that always bumps up my post so more people can see it and more people watch it. So that's always fun too. Um, okay, so tonight I'm going to be doing some really easy stuff. So, um, and I have to admit that I am not like a huge, like crap crafter. I don't know. Like I, I love to paint furniture and I love to, um, do like artistic type things. And I would say that I am a creative person, but it, when it comes to like crafting and doing crafty kind of stuff, like I'm always like, Ooh, I'm kind of nervous like is this gonna turn out good you know I don't know so I'm always a little bit concerned but it always turns out pretty decent so I know a lot of you guys probably feel the same way so I'm gonna go ahead and get started the first thing that I'm gonna show you guys is some succulent pumpkins and I wanted to do these mini succulent pumpkins I'm gonna show you the before because 
Um, I know sometimes it's easy for me to visualize what I'm doing if I can kind of see a before. And this was kind of an afterthought. I used some upholstery nails here and kind of pinned these in just for a little gold bling. I don't know if I'll do it on all of them, but I think I might put this one in my daughter's room. So I thought that was kind of cute for a little girl. Kind of makes it a little bit more blingy. So, um, <clears throat> hey Stephanie. Okay, cool. Yeah, if you're on, go ahead and say hi. Tell me where you're from. I'm here in Omaha, Nebraska. I'm Haley. This is uh, my business, Haley Duncan Home. I do um, home decorating. I do furniture flipping. And I do just like DIY stuff on my page. I, I like to show you guys how to do stuff. Um, anything that I'm pretty much doing in my house, I try to show you guys um, also just stuff that I think that maybe people already know how to do. A lot of people actually don't know how to do. So, or don't like think of it or anything like that. So it's kind of fun for me to be able to show you and see how many people are like, oh, that's so awesome. I never would have thought to do that until I saw it on your page. So um, go ahead, if you guys would share this, if you love something like this and you think your friends would love it, go ahead and share it. Sharing my post gets it pumped up even further. The reach gets further. Lots of people get to watch it. So that's fun for me when my stuff gets shared a lot. So I love that. Okay. First things first, we are going to do these little mini succulent pumpkins. These are adorable. Everything that I got here tonight is from Hobby Lobby, okay? So if you guys have any questions, um, go ahead and ask while you're on here. Um, I'll try to watch. Sometimes there's a lot of questions and they get um, kind of lost. So, um, But if you like anything you see, just like click the heart, click the like so that I know that you guys are seeing me okay and hearing me okay and liking what you're seeing. Um, okay, so these little pumpkins are from Hobby Lobby. Like I said, everything I'm going to be using tonight is from Hobby Lobby. I have a few little tips, so make sure you stay on and make sure if you're watching this on the replay that you try to just kind of like listen a little bit longer if you can, like hold out a little bit longer. Sometimes I know we like to like fast forward through the replay, but um, a few little tips re real quick. I like to buy these little pumpkins on stems and they are, you stick them like in wreaths and you stick them in like arrangements and things. But if you buy them on the stem, all the fall stuff is 40% off always, all through fall. Um, and they're $2.99. So they're only like a dollar something to buy. So they're really inexpensive to buy. You can also get these little foam um, pumpkins at like the Dollar Tree and stuff. So um, they're, they're kind of tricky because you want to make sure that you either get a hollow one or you get a foam one like this. And you can kind of tell that this is like foam. This isn't hollow. Like when you knock on it, it's not hollow sounding. Um, some of them have like the little ball beads in it. So when you cut it open, um, the beads kind of go everywhere. So these little ones on sticks are awesome because they're foam and you can just kind of stick stuff in them. Um, so they're not messy or anything too. So these are at Hobby Lobby. I just go ahead and use my wire clippers and clip the ends off to create just a regular pumpkin. I personally love white pumpkins. I love neutral colored pumpkins. So, um, I don't know, I always go for the white white pumpkins. I've even been really liking like the, the really pale green or the uh, pale blue pumpkins that I've been seeing. So, um, I prefer the, the white ones and then they especially look really pretty with the succulents. So, um, just a little note to self, succulents don't ever, the, the faux succulents at Hobby Lobby, they don't ever go on sale at um, at Hobby Lobby. They're never included in like the half off things. So this is a little tip I like to share with you guys. The succulents can get a little bit pricey if you are, um, since they're not on sale, you can use your 40% coupon on just one of them. Um, hi Michelle. Yeah. I like the white pumpkins too. They're super cute. Yeah. If you're on, please go ahead and say hi. Um, just say, how's it going? Um, I like to hear and see who's on and all that. So a little tip for the succulents, make sure when you're looking and shopping for the succulents, um, you want to look for the ones that you can get like more bang for your buck. So this one is one, but it actually has two succulents on it. So you can actually cut this into two pieces and get two off of it. Okay. So, um, you kind of, Hey Melissa, how's it going? Okay. So another really good one, I actually already cut a little chunk off this guy to do this one. For those of you that are just popping on, I'm talking about these little pumpkins right here that I'm making. I consider doing real succulents because I love real plants. If I can ever use real plants anywhere, I always prefer real over fake. But um, for pumpkins, like it's a seasonal thing. So I've seen a lot of people like that have carved out pumpkins and like actually planted dirt and succulents. And I think that's super cool. But then 
when fall is over, I was like, well, I don't really know what to do with that. Like, I guess you could replant it into a pot or something, but that's kind of like a lot of work. So I figure I'll just be able to like pack these away and pop them back out for next year. So um, succulent, another succulent I'm using um, are these. This has actually five little stems on it. I already cut one off, but do I have another one? No. Yeah, so five little stems, but it's just one. And this is $2.99. Okay, and you're thinking like when you're buying these, you're like, oh, $2.99, not a big deal. Oh, a dollar, not a big deal. But then when you need like seven of them and they're like $2.99 or $3.99 a piece, you're kind of like, oh. And it becomes one of those projects where you are like, could I have just bought this for way cheaper than what I just <laughs> paid for all the supplies to make it? Like you end up saying fi spending $50 on your like DIY craft. So we're not trying to do that. So try to look for the succulents that have um, multiple um, like stems or anything on it. So like this, I think these are called like string of pearls or something. These are faux succulents all at Hobby Lobby. Um, I see lots of people are popping on. Say hi. Hey Mandy, how's it going? Um, I'm talking about how they don't ever go on sale at Hobby Lobby, so you want to get the most bang for your buck and pick ones that you can like chop off the little stems. So these have one, two, three, four, five stems on them. Okay, so you can get like, and especially if you're doing little pumpkins, if you're doing bigger pumpkins, um, you could probably use this one whole stem. But since we're doing little ones, I'm doing little ones. Um, I'm also going to do another big one too. I'm going to show you both. But um, for the little ones, you only need like, let's see. I clipped off one of these little stems and it's right here, right there, see? So you don't need like that whole cluster. So don't feel like you need to get like a ton of, um, a ton of greenery for these, especially if you're doing these mini ones. This is another really good one. I think this is $2.99 as well. Has a bunch of little guys on it. Hey Trina, hey Christine, hey pumpkin, that's cute. <laughs> Okay, so you can like totally clip that off and shove it in there and there's like multiple of those. So you can just clip them and you'll want to use your wire wire cutters to clip whoop, to clip those. So, um, okay, so we're going to get started. I'm going to go ahead and do, you guys want me to do the orange or the white one first? I don't know if I'll do all of them on the video. Hey Kelly, how's it going? I'm glad you guys are on. I feel like it's helpful when I post ahead of time and then let you know what time I'm going to be on because I feel like I have way more viewers on my um, on my videos when I do that. So if you guys like that, give me some hearts or say, yeah, I like that because a lot of people, Facebook's been kind of weird lately and they don't show, they don't, whoop, they don't show stuff. I'm throwing stuff around. I'm, I'm angry about it. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> okay. Melissa votes orange. Okay. She's like, let's get going here. Okay. So let's see. I kind of wanted to put these big guys, this was kind of going to be my base, okay, these big, they're kind of like chicks and hens, I don't know if these are exactly chicks and hens, but um, I kind of wanted that to be my base, so you want to look for something big kind of for the middle, you can take the stem off if you want, like clip it with your wire cutters, or you can leave it on, I left it on for the white one, but you could, you could go either way, depends on what you want, but... Um, okay, so I am going to be using, see I just clipped that off, so now I have two pieces for, for that. Um, my husband gave me this, this is called a, uh, what's it called? Oh. An awl, I keep forgetting. This is like a pokey, it's kind of like an ice pick, but it has a screwdriver thing on it, so it looks like a screwdriver, but it's pointy. And I'm just gonna poke this in to create like my hole. And then, um, how's the painted chair? Oh, Kelly wants to know about the painted chair. I am actually just finished it up today and I'm excited. I'm gonna take some pictures of it and maybe post it tomorrow. Okay, so I'm going as close to, actually no, I'm not doing that. I decided that for my big piece, I wanna go a little bit out so that it doesn't get too smushed in with the stem, okay? So I'm gonna make my hole. And like I said, this isn't hollow. I made my hole, okay, with my owl. owl. It's called A-W-L. Owl. I don't know, owl. You can also use like a little mini screwdriver. Because some of these succulents, the stems are a little bit thicker. So you might need something a little bit wider. Hopefully you guys can see. 
But this is really easy. But what I would suggest, and also the stems are wire, so you can bend. Um, and they're kind of like rubbery and plastic, so you can kind of smush it. And then it's just in there, okay? So I did that one kind of out, as you can see, because I didn't want it too crowded. So with my ones that dangle, I want to be a little bit closer to the stem because I want the dangly ones to come all the way out from the stem and to come out, okay? So um, this is one I've already clipped. So I'm gonna clip another piece on. Okay, a lot of people are watching. So um, for those of you that are just popping on, say hi, give a heart, tell me where you're from if you're not in Omaha. I have lots of people watching from all over, which is super fun. Um, Okay, so for the dangly guy, I'm gonna go a little bit in, a little bit closer to the stem, because I want my dangly to go all the way from the stem. Okay. And then literally I just clipped that off. So it has a little the little wire in there, and then you just stick it in. Okay, so sometimes people, car so this is way too long. So I'm gonna clip that and make it shorter. And I could probably even use this for another one. I wonder if I could. I might have to pull off some of the little nubs, but I totally probably could. So you can actually get multiple uses out of one little stem of these. So don't feel like you have to buy one of these for every single pumpkin. For those of you that are just popping on, um, I was telling them that um, at Hobby Lobby, they never go on sale, all the succulents. They never are on sale. They're never part of like the 50% off sale on the florals. So you can use your 40% off coupon on one, but so what I was saying is that you wanna make sure that you get ones that can be multi-use. So for example, like these, they have two on them. So you buy one, buy, you know, by one and you get two and you can clip it with your with your wire clippers and get two. Okay. Okay, I don't know if this one's gonna work as well, but you might be able to shove it down with your screwdriver. So I've seen a lot of people that have carved out and used like different things to, um, you can even do like real flowers like I was saying, like you can even carve out these pumpkins and put um, little mini like mason jars in there and actually put real succulents or even plant them in the pumpkin. So um, I just wanted to use fakes. I wanted to be able to just throw these in my fall decor box and then get, have them for next year. I don't want to have to worry about um, the real plants. Okay, this is another really good one. This has a ton of stems on it. Hey Molly, how's it going? Multiple trips and have your child check out separately with a coupon. There you go. That's a good idea. I just always am so frustrated with that because I'm like, it's only three dollars, but but then it adds up when you do a bunch. Okay, so I'm gonna finish this orange one, and then I'm gonna actually show you a bigger pumpkin that I have that I wanted to do, and that the one I'm about to do isn't a succulent, but it's um gonna be more of just like a regular floral arrangement. So you can kind of get creative with these. You don't have to, it's, there's no like rhyme or reason to these. And it's also nice because they bend, like they're wire, so they bend. And you can inner loop like these dangly ones, you know, down and, and they're cute. See, you guys like that? So this is really cute for like mantles. Um, it's really cute for centerpieces, like on trays. I even like to clump these little guys with um, other things. So if I have like something big and like some a stack of books and maybe like a, a you know like a candle holder and then set this cute little pumpkin on the stack of books. It kind of just like nice. You can kind of scatter them around your house, like for your entryway. You can put them in your bathroom or in your guest bathroom. Um, just kind of nice to just set out for a little fall decor. And like I said, these are faux succulents, so they're easy to just store away and pull them out for next year too. Okay. So I love the orange pumpkins, but I do love the white pumpkins too. So um, these upholstery nails, I was going to show you guys these. Um, the only place I've seen these is Lowe's. I have not looked any other place. I'm sure other places have them, but um, I love these little 
furniture nails they're called and they come in brass and they come in silver too but these are like um, you know when you get like an upholstered chair and it has like all the nail heads around the edge of it, it that's what they are and that's what they're for and they're like a dollar fifty for a box of 25 so they're really really inexpensive I've used them for lots of different things around my house they're always fun to kind of add like embellishments on things um, and they have like a tack on the back so you can shove them into anywhere so that's what I did on this one I made a little, I just kind of went around with it. I thought it was kind of cute. I think I'm gonna put this in my daughter's room. I thought it was kind of, kind of girly. Okay, so I'm not gonna show you. Do you guys have any questions about these faux succulent pumpkins? I could probably do another one just super quick right here. <clears throat> so I do my poke, I cut. sticks in super easy and like I said these are wire so you can kind of bend them and smush them okay and they're even cute just with the one so super fun okay let's do something different I think I just chucked one of my succulents over there let me get it <clears throat> so this one is the other one that I showed you I have this succulent in real. I forget what it's called, but. So for the big flower succulent, I kind of went a little bit out because I didn't want it to be too crowded with the stem. So I probably did it like out there. Um, for the ones that kind of stick up and dangle out, I'm gonna do a little bit closer to the stem because I don't want them to be like sticking straight out from the side. So I'll do my poke with my owl. Owl. A-W-L is what it's called. I've never even heard of such a thing. I kind of like these little these little ones because they kind of stick sprout out like that. And then maybe I'll do another one of these flowers on the edge. I don't know. You guys can do whatever you want. I mean, literally, it's like super duper easy. Hopefully you guys can see. I wanted to do something fallish. I've been working on my front porch fall decor. So I was in the spirit today, although it was super hot. Oh, this one's cute. I did two on this. I kind of like for these to be sort of dangling down. So look how cute. You like it? Give me some likes and hearts and loves and whatever you like it I think it's super cute so like I said um, cluster these with like your fall decor cluster it on your tray with your um, picture frames and your um, florals and your little other pumpkins and all your other fall signs everything on your shelves on your mantles you can have them I thought it would also be cute to have like three in a row on your mantle like one two and three you can see that just like in the middle of your mantle with some big stuff on either side I thought would be cute so these are really easy and you know they're not gonna fall out they're like it's like foam it's like a big foam ball and you just like shove them in there so super easy I like this one with both of the both of the flowers hey Bridget hey Joan how's it going if you guys are on say hi don't be shy don't be shy see lots of people are watching tell me hi tell me where you're from if I don't know you if you're not from Omaha tell me where you live I like to see where all these people are watching from it's super fun to some of you guys I feel like I know you and I don't even know you so I love that okay second pumpkin I'm gonna do is this um, brown guy this is um like paper mache, is it paper mache? I don't know, I don't know the correct terminology for this thing. But this is hollow, and it's like that craft paper. Does anyone know what this is called? Is it paper mache? Is it craft paper? I don't know, but it's in the fall section at Hobby Lobby. And I originally was gonna get a big pumpkin, and the big pumpkins were very expensive. And I was like, holy moly, those are so expensive. They're like $40. And even with the coupon, I mean, it's still kind of a lot. So I was like, oh, what can I do instead? Like, what is like another cheaper option? Hi, Heather. Ooh, okay, we got someone non-Omaha here. 
Okay, so this is ten dollars. Okay, ten bucks and then forty percent off. So that was way better for me. I didn't want to spend a lot on a pumpkin, um, especially because everything goes on sale and marked down so low at the end of the year that I usually try to get all my fall stuff for the following year on like the 80%, 90% off sale after the season. So that's kind of what I try to do for the most part. But um, <clears throat> so maybe I'll look for some for next year to do some floral arrangements in. But I was like, I'm not gonna spend like $20 just on a big pumpkin. So this was a better option for me. So I found these, neither of these were in the fall decor section. These are just some of my favorite flowers. And then I wanted to do um, something that was a little bit fall color, but sometimes I don't love like the, I do love all the fall florals. Like I love the sunflowers and the big like orange flower. I love all that, but sometimes I'm like, I feel like it's too much. Like I feel like I just have fall just like everywhere, you know? So I thought these were pretty cause it's still kind of a fall color, but it has like a little bit more of a coral tone than a red. So I kind of like that. And then, so these are another one of those things where you, when you are looking for stuff where you're going to be sticking things in like that, you want to look for something that has a multi, like this has three. Okay, so instead of buying just one, like a lot of the floral stuff, it was just like one sunflower or one huge clump of sunflowers for like $15. And I was like, Ugh. so this was $1.99, it was 50% off, so it was just a buck, and I get three stems in it. Okay, so you're gonna wanna look for stuff, and same with the succulents, if you're just now popping on, you're gonna wanna look for succulents that have multi stems that you can clip because otherwise it gets really pricey and your project gets super expensive. Okay, so. <clears throat> These are one of my favorite florals. They're just in the regular floral section. They're not in um, the fall section. But these are $3.99. So $3.99 and then half off. Um, and I love these for vases. I love these for everything because I love greenery that drapes down over things, especially on my mantle. So I love or like on any kind of open shelving, if you can like throw in some greenery that drapes down over kind of like the edge, it's just so, such a nice, such a nice look. I just really, really like it. So um, I wanted this to kind of drape over my pumpkin too. So anything that's gonna be draping, like same as the little pumpkins, you're gonna wanna go close to the stem because you don't want it, you want it to kind of look like it's coming out of the stem, like sort of like a vine. Okay, so I already was playing around with this earlier, so I already have a couple holes poked, but you're gonna do the same thing with either your little mini screwdriver, because you don't want the holes to be too big, because then they'll wiggle around. Um, so you wanna get like this mini AWL awl, or a mini screwdriver, and poke. <clears throat> so I poke my hole close to the stem, I'm gonna stick this in here. And then these are fun too because you can sort of spread them. I'm probably gonna put two of these in here, okay? So it's coming out of the stem like that. I like, I like how that looks, so. Hey guys, if you guys are on, say hi. Give a like, give a heart. Give a share if you think that your friends would like this. Maybe you guys can um, get your friends together and do some fall pumpkin floral arrangements because it's super fun. Super cute. Hey girl, hey girl, everyone say hey girl. Okay, so I already clipped this guy and this guy. So I've already clipped these off. So like I was saying, you get three and one for these stems and it's only a buck when it's half off. I already poked my hole, but you're gonna wanna poke your hole obviously every time. I feel like this is very self-explanatory. It's super easy. You guys are like, yeah, I get the gist. I just want to see the, the end result. So looking at it, you kind of want to like look at it as a whole. Like, do you want your florals to come down a little more? Do you want them clust like clustered together just on one side? You kind of do whatever you want with it. And really, like if you poke a hole and you put it in there and you're like, I don't really like how that looks. If you move the the hole back or forward or whatever like you can't really see the one you poked like if you feel like you messed up it's not going to be like you ruined it so another cool thing about these is that the the green um leaves on these move up and down so when you put them in the green leaves kind of push with it so they kind of 
They kind of look like little pumpkin vines with some cute little um, coral colored flowers. And I'm just like playing around. I don't even know like what I'm doing. I'm just going to stick these in. And you can kind of look at it as a whole, you know, step back. Sometimes it's good to do that when you're doing projects is to kind of step back and look at it instead of like just keep poking and sticking and doing all that stuff. It's kind of good to pull away and look at it and be like, okay, it looks a little bit too like heavy on that side or it looks a little bit too colorful on that side. So pull it away and take a look. I think even that by itself is really cute. Like I think I could get away with it with just that, but I'll probably add a little bit more. So if this were sitting on the edge of your mantle, just like that, aren't those cute? So these florals are not in the fall decor section. They're just in regular and so is this little vine. I love these little vines. If you guys are just popping on now, um, these are one of my favorite florals. I love to stick these in vases. I like to stick them in any arrangement. They're only three dollars or four dollars and then half off they're only two bucks but you just stick them in and they kind of drape over. So they're good for mantles or good for shells. Anything that you want to kind of drape. It gives good texture and um, good color. Like I always love green. Green is a neutral to me. I feel like green goes with anything. So I'm going to stick another one of them in here. Like I said, I think that the draping green need to go close to the stem because you want it to kind of seem like it's coming out from the stem, like almost like it's a vine. Now for this pumpkin I was saying, for those of you that are just coming on, um, I didn't really want it... I was like browsing around um, Hobby Lobby at all the fall florals and while I love all the fall florals, um, I just wanted something a little bit less fallish but still incorporate my pumpkin, still incorporate the greenery. So I decided to go with florals that were not out of the fall section. These are just regular. And I also wanted to find some that would be good like bang for my buck. So. A dollar for these and you get like three flowers out of it so I thought that was pretty good um, these are really cute I found these in the fall section these are cotton I know everyone loves those cotton stems I love them too hi Abby hi Rhonda how's it going thanks for coming on tonight you guys these are $4.99 so they're half off or no they're 40% off of five bucks. I didn't think that was bad. You get a big giant bag of them. I've already even pulled some out. They're pretty cute. They have the cotton and the... And I was thinking that they might be cute to like hot glue kind of in there too. Do you guys like this? Or would you guys have chosen more fall? More fall, fallish type colors. Hi, Maureen. Hey, Rhonda. Thanks for coming on, you guys. I'm so happy. I love when you guys come on and join. It's so fun. I like to see your comments. If you're not here in Omaha, tell me where you're from. Give a like or a heart or share this video. It's even kind of cute with it in the back because then you can see that it's a pumpkin. You almost I don't know. Can you tell that it's a pumpkin from the front? I had actually considered painting it orange or painting it white or something, but I was like, I don't know. I kind of like the, the natural kind of color of this craft paper pumpkin. So love the cotton. Yeah. Okay. So I have my, <clears throat> I have my hot glue gun plugged in. Maybe I'll just throw some cotton on here while you guys are on. If you guys weren't on earlier, I was kind of talking about how I'm not like a huge crafter. Like I'm not, I'm not. Like I just, I mean I like to do it and I, and I get lots of ideas and I like to fulfill the ideas and I like to come up with something in my mind. But for the most part, I wouldn't say that, I wouldn't like call myself a huge crafter. But I'm creative. Does that make sense? Does anybody like get that? Does anybody know how what I'm saying here. Like I kind of have a vision for this, but I kind of don't. Maybe that's just what all crafters are. I don't know. Would be cute. Would be a cute one for a girl's room with the, cor with the coral. Yeah, I thought that was cute. Yeah, I like the coral because it does have like hints of orange, hints of red. I guess that is what coral is. But um, it was fallish to me, but it wasn't too, too 
over the top fallen. Um, I had a ton of florals from last year. I always try to get stuff at the end of the year, like I said, um, if I can for the coming year, but I was kind of in the mood, like I was kind of in the more of a botanical mood, like more of a vintage botanical pumpkin, rather, maybe it was the succulents, maybe the succulents made me feel that way, rather than like a sunflower and mum and orange leaf type of a pumpkin. I don't know, I felt like this was kind of cute and kind of different. Sometimes I love fall and I love getting all my fall stuff out, but then sometimes I'm like, oh. Cause I'm not a huge, like these aren't my color. Like fall colors aren't my favorite colors. I like more like whites and blues. So I guess I do like, I think that's why I like the blue pumpkins. So I'm just hot gluing these on. These are little cotton, what are they called? They're called scatters and fillers, how cute. Scatters and fillers, so I suppose these would be good like in a little clear vase or in like a little bowl. Or if you have an arrangement with some pumpkins, you could kind of just like scatter and filler them. <laughs> That's what they're called, aren't they cute? They had a lot of cute stuff in that um, little area, so. Oh, this is actually pretty cute. You guys like that? I like it. I think it's cute. So I have my green draping over. I don't know if I'll do any on the back, but I could. I have some some left. I have some coral ones left. I'll just do it because since I have them left. <clears throat> and since a lot of you guys are still on. Do you guys have any questions about this? Have you ever done this before? Made like a floral arrangement? I was at Home Goods today and I saw um, it was a orange pumpkin and it wasn't the size of the mini pumpkins it was like medium it was like not this big but it wasn't tiny it was like medium pumpkin and it had a little bit of floor a little bit of succulent arrangements in the middle and it was $13 I was like hmm $13 I don't know I think that you could make it for less definitely especially if you remember that tip about the succulents and trying to get succulents that have multi multi stems you can cut them you know, for example, this one has two stems. So you wanna make sure when you're getting your succulents that you're getting stuff that has two stems. You wanna look at the bottom and make sure you're able to cut them off. So you're kinda of getting like two for the price of one or three for the price of one. Or like for instance, this one is like 10 for the price of one. Okay, so you can cut all of these off. Same with your florals. Like this was one floral, but it had three flowers on it, okay? So. In order not to be like spending $50 on your project and being like, ooh, I just spent $50 on my craft when I could have bought it for $13, you know, you want to make sure that you, and that's kind of the other reason when I was seeing those $40 pumpkins, I was like, eek, I was like, I don't want to spend $40 on a pumpkin when I could just buy it for, you know. Buy it already all made and done at Home Goods, or and it is fun to do it. It's fun to to make it yourself and say that you made it, or do it with your kiddos or your friends or whatever. But um, sometimes it gets like a little bit crazy when you're trying to DIY stuff. Can you guys see or the comments in the way? So the other cool thing about these. Um, draping greenery is that once you get all your stuff in, so I'll kind of show you when I'm done, once you get all your flowers in and everything, you can kind of intertwine that green and you can kind of move it around to where it's um, kind of the way you want it. Depending on where, where it's going to go or how you want it to look, you can move it. And this would be also something you could probably pull all of these out and fill it with all different flowers. All your holes are already in it. You know, it could be something that you change yearly. If you're like, oh, I want to do um, sunflowers this year. Sunflowers would re be really cute on this. Um, it could be something that you could co consistently change. So for those of you that are just coming on, hey, Lori, how's it going? It's looking so pretty. Thank you. I like it, too. I've never done anything like this before. I've never done any kind of pumpkin floral arrangement, but I was saying earlier that I think that since that whole like botanical, vintagey, florally, um, like,
plant, like plants are really in and everything. I feel like people are kind of starting to try to do that with their pumpkins. So I'll show you that. So I think it looks cute. I have my little cottons on one side. This is a craft paper pumpkin. It was only ten dollars before the before the sale from Hobby Lobby. So um, forty percent off. Turned out pretty cute. I think I'll put some more um, cotton stems, cotton fillers and scatters or whatever they're called. Scatter and filler or whatever. I don't know. What are you guys up to? What are you guys making for fall? Hi, Stacy. Hi, Bridget. How's it going? For those of you that are just coming on, I've already made these succulent pumpkins out of mini pumpkins from Hobby Lobby and I used the ones that have the stems on them that you're supposed to use for like wreaths and things. Um, I just clipped them off. I feel like that's the most inexpensive way and I also like these because they're foam on the inside. Um, and you can just poke your hole and then stick your succulents in and um, I love these little succulent pumpkins. So, super cute. And I was talking also about the furniture um, my furniture nails, they're gold. You can put those in them too. They turn out super cute with the gold. Little nail heads in them. Makes it a little bit like more modern looking or a little bit more, like it's definitely not like farmhouse-y to me, but it's just a little bit more modern, a little bit more like boho chic-ish looking, but the succulents are cute. <clears throat> and then I did an orange one too. This one, it's kind of weird right now because I wasn't really paying attention that well when I was making it because I was talking to you guys, but I think I might poke another, I'm going to let that sit for a second. I might poke another little succulent in this one. I feel like he needs another one. So these are foam, okay, for those of you that weren't watching. The bigger guys, you want to go a little bit down from the stem because you don't want them to be crowded in your stem. Depends on how big it is. Poke your hole, it's foam. This is wire, so it's easy. Easily to push through. Some of the ones that have bigger stems, you need to kind of maybe use a mini screwdriver and make it a little bit bigger. Oh, that's way cuter. It needed that. It needed something else, I feel like. And then I think it needs another one of these. I love this one. This one has a lot of a lot of stems on it. So I'm just gonna cluster these kind of in the back. If you guys are coming on, say hi. I'm almost done. So if you guys have come on and have missed anything, um, just let me know or It'll be up on my page so you guys will be able to watch it too. So I think that one's pretty cute with the orange. What do you guys think? I like it. I probably won't put all these mini ones together. Love the cotton on the larger one. I know, Renee, I, I thought these little cottons were good too. They come in a little bag like this. They're called scatters and fillers, which is just cute anyways. I like the name. So this one is cute. I think I'm going to put this one on my mantle. I like this dangling greenery for mantles um, or shelves because I just like how it looks when it's spilling over like that. So it'll be sitting, this green will spill over. And like I said, you can kind of move your greenery. If you want all of it to come forward, you could totally like pull it all forward to make it a little bit more green. Um, you could also even like pull it out and just, you know, have them all in the front, coming out the front. So, I like this. Or you can have it in the back like that. Then you can tell that it's more of a pumpkin. So, Kelly, thanks. I like them too. Do you guys like these? These are fun. So, this probably, this one here probably cost, oh, let's see, like $10, I bet, to make this. 10 bucks. Which I feel like is pretty good. This is a pretty big size. I don't know if you can tell like the size of it, but it's pretty pretty big. I would say that at like a craft fair or even like Home Goods or anything, this would probably cost a lot more than ten bucks. So that one's cute. And I have a bunch of stuff left over. So there's that one. 
Um, these little mini succulents, these are these suc mini succulent pumpkins, didn't cost very much either. These probably cost like five dollars to make, or even less maybe each. So, anyways, that's all I have for tonight. This is easy. It's not a big. It's not. It's not hard. It's not a big deal. So I hope you guys. Um, make some because they're fun. Do you guys have any questions or um, anything like that? I know a lot of people are jumping off. They're like, I've seen what I came to see. I'm done. I'm out of here. So that's cool. I, lo I don't mind that at all. But um, yeah, I don't know. I don't have anything else for you. So I will talk to you guys soon. And if you guys need anything from me, you know where to find me. You can always message me, message me on here. You can always email me. You can also um, find me on my website, HaleyDuncanHome.com. The minis would be cute on candlesticks. Yes, girl. I love mini pumpkins on candlesticks. So cute. So cute. Yeah, there's lots of really cute things. I was even thinking that these could probably go outside. You could probably even put these in wreaths. So if you have big fall wreaths, you could probably even like set these on the inside, like on the bottom curve. I like to set stuff on the inside of that curve. So boink, 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 set them in there. Especially if it's like a burlap wreath or something that has a little bit of a ledge, you can always set your like mini pumpkins in there. So these would probably work for that. So anyways, all right guys, well I will talk to you later. I hope you guys have a good night and that's all. That's all I have for you. Go make some pumpkins. Oh. Let me get this. Good idea. I make wreaths and customs. Kelly, you make wreaths and customs? What's your what's your business page? Will you put uh, post your business page so I can follow you? Maybe I already follow it. I don't know. I'm gonna wait for you to do that before I jump off. Kelly, Kelly, Kelly. Show me your page, Kelly. Show me your page. You could always message me your page, too. Now I see more people. Oh, it's coming soon. You don't have a business page yet. Okay, well, when you get your page, are you in Nebraska? I'm curious. When you get your page, I would love to see your stuff um, and, you know, buy it and stuff. So, <laughs> okay. I'll talk to you guys later.